Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the Underground Exchange. Thank you so much for tuning in to the Expanders this evening. We greatly appreciate your continued support during this time of distancing and being safe at home. Olivia and I are very much looking forward to this show this evening. And so make sure that you continue to comment in the um, comment box in the live chat <clears throat> so we can make this a really fun interactive evening for everyone. Thank you again for supporting us and for supporting your wonderful local musicians here. And here are the Expanders. Thank you for tuning in. Hello, the internet. We are Expanders. I'm Isaac. And I am Michael. We're going to sing some... Uh, American Songbook standards for you tonight. Thanks for tuning in again. Have you ever had the feeling that the world's gone and left you behind? Have you ever had the feeling that you're that close to losing your mind You look around each corner Just hoping that she's there You try to play it cool, perhaps Pretend that you don't care But it doesn't do a bit of good You've got to seek till you find Or you'll never unwind And try to think That love's not around Still it's uncomfortably near My old heart ain't gaining no ground Because my angel eyes ain't here Angel eyes that old devil sent They glow unbearably bright I say that my love's misspent, misspent with angel eyes tonight. So drink up, all you people. Order anything. tell but I'm smiling with my eyes <laughs> thank you for wearing that mask <laughs> taken care of that's right <clears throat> well about two years ago uh, we met at a children's birthday party and um, we didn't meet but we we gathered and uh, Michael sided up to me while we were watching over our boys play and uh, he said hey uh, do you like jazz I said, actually, a lot. Um, 
he said, well, would you be interested in uh, getting together and learning a couple of standards? And uh, I immediately said yes. And so we, we would get together and uh, learn these songs to, in the morning after dropping the kids off at school here in Ojai. And um, it's just been a hugely, hugely enriching process for us both. So it's great to get to share them with you. This one was the first one we ever slowed down and added synth to. It's called Someone to Watch. Someone to Watch Over Me. Turn up my monitor slightly here. Okay. Yeah, keep telling us what they're saying. Please uh, send us a note. And um, our Bernie Bernie Larson here is uh, the owner of this, this beautiful studio and um, performance space, and uh, he's going to be letting us know what you're all saying. But this one goes out to Sophie and Cassandra. This is the way you look tonight. <clears throat>
Lisa. David Taylor. What's up, David? Laura Cooper, Cooper Martin. Laura. Angelo Sommer. Angelo. Good to see you. Jade Seraph, sending love from New York. Jade. Oh, this one goes out to New York then. <clears throat> this song nearly saved my life, I'd say, uh, when I was 19. Um, low, low point. Say uh, some some depression and uh, Cassandra Wilson's version of this song just caught me right where I was living and uh, made me feel good. Made me feel like I was okay. It's called "You Don't Know What Love Is." You 
don't know, do you, how hearts burn for love that cannot leave yet never dies until you face each death. Sleepless eyes, yo, you, yo, yo. Is that Julius? Yes. Thank you, Julius. Gosh, Julius, you almost gave me a heart attack today. When I was six years old, um, for my birthday, I got a game called Mousetrap. Do you know that one? Of course, yeah. And uh, of course, like the day we got it, I was playing around and I swallowed <clears throat> the marble. And um, <clears throat> was so I'm so obviously lucky um, that it didn't go down the other pipe. And uh, we had to hunt around for it. I will spare you the gory details, but we found the marble. And uh, today, my boy and I were playing, and he inhaled a marble. And we had to do the whole Heimlich maneuver, and it came out, thankfully. And uh, Jules, I'm just, you're so precious to me, and I'm just so grateful that that marble came out. So good job spinning it out. Did he trap the mouse? Uh, he did not trap the mouse, but we do have mouse trap now. And uh, now Jules and I both have learned our lesson with marbles in the mouth. I would guess that more people than not just set up the mouse trap game to set it off than to actually play the actual game, right? It's true. It's true. Like there's, I don't know what the stats are, and you probably couldn't get reliable metrics on that, <laughs> but I would guess 90%. Like, oh, let's set it off. Well, let's set it up. And like, okay, spend 10 minutes doing it. And then like. Did you have that game? No. No, I didn't. It was bad. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't swallow any marbles either. <laughs> oh, gosh. <clears throat> oh, here's another one for you. Okay. Begins to tell round midnight. I do pretty well till after sundown. Supper time, I'm feeling sad, but it really gets bad round midnight. Memories always start round midnight Haven't got the heart to stand those memories And when my heart is still with you And that old, old midnight knows it too when some quarrel we had needs mending Doesn't mean that our love is ending Darling, I need you Lately I find you're right Let our hearts take wing round midnight Let the angels sing for your heart turning 
Let our love be safe and sound When that old night comes around Steven, see you. <laughs> Thank you, Laura. Mm. David. <laughs> There we go. Oh, that's it. Um, so How you doing, Michael? I'm doing well. It's uh, I feel res like uh, it's my responsibility to wear a mask, but man, it's really not what I want to do. It's a bit little uh, asthmatic in there. Isn't it? Yeah, it's just. Uh, How's your family been uh, coping with quarantine? What have, What have you been? What are the family rituals that you've been doing? Uh, well, we've mm -hmm. been we've been going on lots of bike rides, mm -hmm. which has been great. Um, having that. California weather, um, it's awesome. Um, and we've been, uh, I've actually been jamming with the kids. Nice. Um, the other, it was just, it's sort of, it's funny how as, as a parent, these moments just sort of like happen. Mm. And uh, the other day, Kai was like, who is my uh, soon to be nine year old. He's like, hey Papa, can you play guitar? I was like, yeah, sure. And so I just picked up the guitar. I haven't played guitar in the house for ages. And, uh, and I was like, oh, I should just play something that's in C, you know, all the white keys. Like, so whatever he would play would work. And we started, I just started playing just some, some song and, um, and he was jamming along with me. And it was like one of those profound moments of like, oh, right. This is, this is, a, this is one of those amazing parts of being a parent, you know, mm. that spot welds, yeah. <clears throat> spot welds. It's just a word for those moments that are indelible for it. Oh yeah, yeah. kind of like <laughs> they make a mark. No, it's it's uh it's great, and so now that's that's kind of become part of our our routine. Mm. Um, <clears throat> and you know we've been doing uh, lots of uh, photo stuff and video stuff, and like mm. doing a lot of backwards video, like having them walk backwards <laughs> up the driveway and say something backwards. One of the things we like to do a lot <laughs> is to say. Uh, and I'll, you know, I, I won't tell you what this means, but you can, if you want to, you can, um, you can try this out. But if you say, "Azip imoy imoy," Azip imoy imoy. Yeah, or "Azip imoy imoy." Um, With that inflection. Azip imoy yeah. imoy. Yeah, and if you play that backwards, there's there's plenty of apps on the on on the phone. Hey. You're gonna have to find out. <laughs> Maybe you can post in the comments. <clears throat> okay. Um. <clears throat> well, this one, uh, Frank Sinatra did when he was in his 20s, and uh, we don't have the big band, but um, we got Michael. And, uh, he, it's just uh, life-changing. You'll have to check it out. It's called All or Nothing at All.
just not a wasted note in that song <laughs> god it's so good uh, it's one of those that every time we do it i just like oh man we get to play that again yeah. They're all like that. <clears throat> it's amazing these are perfect perfect songs as a uh, as a friend of ours uh, said uh his definition of creativity and i, and I tend to agree with this is um, making the complicated simple mm. and man Boy, that does it. And uh, mm-hmm. anyway, let's uh, let's keep going, playing some more yeah. music. This is a, great. Yeah, it's a little happy one. Yeah. I first heard this in the <clears throat> Leaving Las Vegas soundtrack, <laughs> sung by Sting. Um, I think uh, that I think that that what you're describing also is something that's interesting. Is that um, for for people that are our age, you know, born in the '70s. Yeah. We, I didn't have a, an access point to this music other than like the sort of the cocktail nation moment in like the, the nineties mm. where we were playing Sinatra records at, at like New Jersey bars at, you know, on Tuesday Rebirth nights. Of cool. And then, but before that there was the, uh, the great, uh, when Harry met Sally soundtrack mm-hmm. with, uh, Harry Connick Jr. And that's really where I heard sleepless in Seattle as well. Yeah. I mean, that's, I mean, for 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 better or worse, like that was how I heard some of this music, and and those uh that Harry Connick stuff is still still kind of amazing. Yeah. So um, if you out there have a movie and you want some jazz, you should definitely. Uh, <laughs> well, I wasn't. I, that's that's not what I was getting at. But I mean, yes. Oh, I if you do, <laughs> if you I'm are, I'm definitely a... getting at that. I'm, <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready for the set right now. Let's go. <laughs> um. Yeah, and I this is a this is one of those songs where um, you know I think this this person Guy Wood who wrote this like yeah. I don't I think that I don't know what other what Guy other songs Wood and Robert Mellon, 1952 um, wrote that down. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean I think there were so many songwriters at mm. this time, you know, in the, sort of the mid century. They were just everyone was like just trying trying to uh to come up with a hit song yeah i mean it was right after the war right it was it was in the uh 50s so that's yeah they're, they're re- rebuilding their, their lives so right after <clears throat> coronavirus we're going to have a <laughs> a um a renaissance and you're all invited um this one's called my one and only love
heaven that I've never known The blush on your cheek Whenever I speak Tells me that you are my own You fill my eager heart with such desire Every kiss you give Sets my soul on fire I give myself in sweet surrender Thanks so much. I know that I know that you probably can't hear this, but my sustain pedal. It's got a good sol solid. It's squeak. really squeaky. That's a je ne sais quoi. A little uh, mousiness. <clears throat> yeah. Stephanie. Yes, we're gonna get to it. We, 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 we've put that in there and it's, it's coming. Thank you. Laura Cooper Martin seconds that. Nice, <laughs> teaming up. Excellent. <clears throat> um, I realize that we haven't, we haven't practiced this one. Uh-oh. But we've played it enough yeah. before today. So this is, uh, it's gonna be a little bit if, uh, if, if, if expanders can be raw. <laughs> this is it. This is, uh, this this is, is us it. in the raw. Um, mm -mm. I also like, don't quite remember what sound. When was the first time you heard this song? We Small? Yeah. Uh, I, would, I would guess that I was doing these DJ nights in New Jersey. And, you know, my, um, we were playing vinyl records and... My dad, who was a recording engineer, had, uh, had this great record collection and there were lots of Sinatra. And I remember just going deep on all those great sort of uh, capital reprise era Sinatra records, Nelson Riddle, Johnny Mandel, um, Billy May era. It's such good stuff. And, the, uh, <clears throat> and I'm pretty sure that we would, we would end certain nights, like the whole like, sort of like closing time last song of the show would be uh, in the wee small hours. And so that's like, oh boy, 95, 94, 95, 96. Um, yeah. And if, uh, if my friend Michael in uh, New Zealand is, uh, is watching, shout out to DJ Stardust from the Electra Lounge at the Plum Street Pub in New Brunswick, New Jersey, circa 20 years ago. So nice. Anyhow, um, here we go. Here we go. Mm. My squeaky sustain pedal. And everything. of the morning While the whole wide world is fast asleep You lie awake and think about the girl and never ever think of counting sheep When your lonely heart Learned his lesson You'll be hers If only 
she would call In the wee small hours of the morn That's the time you miss her most of Yeah, next uh, next pandemic, <laughs> we'll do that one. <laughs> but thank you for suggesting that, <clears throat> and I wish we could, because it's a great song. Um, well, Stephanie, and Laura, this is this is for you, and uh, and Brooke, and Brooke, yes, Brooke in New York City. Can't wait to collaborate with you and your team. <clears throat> <clears throat> All right. I'll, I'll just start. Start it. Okay. I feel like my uh, uh, my my steely exterior, my standard I issue know. steely exterior, is even more rendered unreadable <laughs> by the mask. Like in, you, inside, you look it's like you're smiling. On it. <laughs> I mean, that's uh, that's one of the things that I went to the store the other day, and it's one of the things that I uh, I realized that like oh. Now I can only, I'm only able to recognize people by their eyes, you yeah. know, because everyone's faces, nose and mouth are, you know, but nose and mouth are covered. And, and I was like, oh boy, yeah. let's see, let's see how, let's see what my percentages well, are in the grocery store. smiling eyes, I didn't notice that. Oh, really? Yeah. I think it also might be these, uh, the lights, because. Uh, yes. Oh, thank you to the uh, uh, friend. Oh, yes. Joel and Jennifer for the. Uh, <clears throat> Fancy post lighting. Post-apocalyptic, um, David Lynch kind of vibe here. Oh yes. Thank you, Cher. We Excellent. love you. A local legend, Cher. Ah, thanks for all these friends of mine for joining. This is fun. All right. Should we do it? Yep. All right.
so much. <clears throat> All right, this is uh oh, this is amazing. This is fun. We got the we got two more to go. Wow. And uh we should improvise get them to sell us a weapon. Yeah, maybe we should. Um yeah, why don't we do that now? Okay. So we're gonna do something fun. We're gonna write a song. On the spot, so to speak. We're going to improvise something, a thing, melodies and uh, keys. And uh, we're going to just wait for the first word to come from the audience. So give us some words and we'll, a lyric, and we'll incorporate it. Go. First word that comes to your mind. Just the first word. Don't say Corona. <laughs> yeah, no. There's no wrong answer, but there are some wrong answers. <laughs> um, you know, I'm just going to look on the on the feed here, um, and uh, let's see what we've got here. Oh wow, there's lots of lots and lots of uh, stuff going on here. Um, I think that there's there's quite a delay from. Um, it's okay. Uh, solitude is one word. Solitude. Solitude. We'll take it. Let's go. Okay. Nice, thank you, Leslie and Jim. Oh, oh, there's a hope. Okay. And then hope. there's then there's an LOL. <laughs> uh, we're going with solitude. <clears throat> okay. It goes nothing. Um, sure. Did you see that your tongue is tied in glory mountains? Did you see that your heart is falling down in silence? Solitude, bring out a time where you can sit in love. Wait a little like, can you be running for this hiding time to go? 
see any other uh any other nice little uh tracy albert says for many of us this evokes so many beautiful memories from childhood i'm also loving stories in exchange yeah um which reminds me thank you so much to bernie and cassidy uh and congratulations on yes. the arrival of olivia um it's uh it's a it's an amazing moment for you guys and um we are so we're so lucky to have you in our community here and, um, you know, it's like, uh, it's almost like the Largo of Ojai. There's all like, whatever you go, whatever's going on at the underground exchange, there's always a, a level of, uh, of quality that you can depend on. And, um, yeah. And, uh, any of your, your donations are in a big part going towards, uh, supporting this important institution in Ojai, serving music and serving the community. It's, a, it's an important time for their family, so this is why we're here to uh, to support Bernie and to uh, to be with you all. So <clears throat> we have a music video, uh, a, an amazing friend of ours, Trevor Tuttle, um, offered to uh, to make a, a music video for us uh, for this next song. So if you go onto YouTube and and search for Expandards, uh, and it's uh, Nature Boy. You can also go to expanders.net. Oh yes, and it's uh, it's right there. Tell us about who wrote this. Uh, this is uh, this is a song called Nature Boy uh, by um, a man called Eden Abes, who uh, who was <clears throat> uh, one of the sort of earliest adopters of the sort of natural hippie lifestyle. Um, this song uh, was. He was written in 1948, and uh, and Eden Abes uh, somehow or another got it to either um, Nat King Cole's manager or Nat King Cole's publisher, and said, "You have to you have to record the song. It's going to be hit." And of course, they're like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. you bearded weirdo." Um, and then they uh, and then they listened to the song, and and then it became clear that this was going to be this was going to be an amazing song uh, for Nat King Cole. And uh, it's uh, it just endures, and again, it's uh, it's that f phenomenal uh, experience of uh, taking the complicated and making it simple. Mm. And uh, so here is our version of Nature Boy.
Well, parting is such sweet sorrow, but, um, <clears throat> and so is this song we're going to leave you <laughs> yeah. with. But it really captures, how would you say it? Uh, the sadness of right now. Mm. <laughs> but the sweetness of that sadness. And, um, you know, we're all going through this, and that's the sweetness. Um, that's... You know, uh, Sophie and I were talking over breakfast, and, and if we travel to Norway or Zimbabwe or, you know, New Zealand um, and, and meet new people after this, we're all going to have this as a reference of commonality. And so that's the ultimate silver lining is uh, the unity of this. Anyway, so this one reminds us of the empty New York streets, the hopefully empty, unless... Um, and the empty streets everywhere. Oh, hi, yes, of everywhere. Your town. It's called a lonesome old town, but thank you for tuning in with us, and uh, we'll see you soon. Be safe. Yeah, thanks again. Thanks, Bernie, Cassidy, thank you, everybody thank you. the Ohio Underground Exchange, <clears throat> Joel and Jennifer for the lighting, and uh, our families and friends uh, in Ojai and abroad. Thank you for listening and watching. How I wish you'd come back